Hey everyone, I'm Jeff in Raleigh. I wanted to show you guys how the splitter and the spoiler affect performance. I'm at the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's start. The science of aerodynamics is critical to NASCAR racing. Downforce and drag are the primary forces of aerodynamics that teams want to control to maximize their advantage on the track. NASCAR uses wind tunnels to test these forces on the race car. Downforce is the force of air pushing down on a car. Race cars use a splitter on the front of the car to increase downforce for improved stability and handling. Drag is the resistance on a car as it moves through the air. NASCAR teams use a spoiler on the back of the car for improved acceleration to increase downforce and reduce drag. Rules define the size of splitters and spoilers for each track. By controlling how air flows over the car, NASCAR works to ensure that the race is both fair and exciting. Push the button to start the wind tunnel. Add the splitter to the front of your car to see how it changes downforce and drag. Great! You added the splitter. See how the splitter pushes air around the car, forcing the front down? The width of the splitter determines how much downforce the car will have in the front. The wider the splitter, the greater the downforce. Add the spoiler to the back of your car to see how it changes downforce and drag. You added a spoiler. See how the spoiler redirects the air to push down on the rear tires? The height of the spoiler determines the amount of downforce on the back wheels and less in drag on the car. The greater the height, the more downforce and less drag. Your car is race legal and ready to head to the track. Thanks everyone. See you next time.